Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to discuss about the mnemonics to remember gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. So I'm going to first talk about how to remember this gram-positive cocci and then gram-negative cocci and gram-positive bacilli and gram-negative bacilli. Okay? Because there are so many bacteria that it's, it's really hard for people to really and know which one is gram positive and which one is gram negative. That's why I'm going to discuss here the mnemonics to understand that. Let's first start with gram positive cocci. So for the gram positive cocci, we have the bacteria such as lactococci, staphylococci, streptococci, viridians, enterococci. And the mnemonics for this is love is positive okay so love is positive so i'm going to discuss how uh, this mnemonic corresponds to this list of bacteria okay l standing for lactococci and v for viridians positive of course p for this staphylococci and streptococci and this E of for sure it stands for enterococci. Okay, so P from both staphylococci and streptococci. Both of these they have this letter P, and this P letter P represents positive. Okay, so the mnemonics to remember the list of gram positive cocci is love is positive. You all know that, right? Love is positive. Okay, so. The love is positive. Okay, good. So how L for lactococci, staphylococci, and streptococci for both of these positive P and viridians and enterococci V and E. Okay, so love is positive, guys. Just remember this. Love is positive. So we have gram positive cocci. Okay, so this is the mnemonics to remember gram positive cocci. Love is positive. Now, let's talk about gram-negative cocci. In this list, we have Neisseria, okay? Neisseria. If you have a closer look at this, the name of this bacteria, you know, NE, that refers to negative. It's a gram-negative cocci, so negative. And so you might be wondering, you know, whether this is a cocci or a bacilli. So, to differentiate between that, here in the name of this bacteria, we have double S and cocci has double C. So, it's a gram-negative cocci. Okay, so why this is a negative? Because it has NE in its name, Neisseria, so that stands for negative, and this double S for double C in of the cocci, okay? So, Neisseria is a gram-negative cocci, okay? So... Now we're done with cocci. Now let's move on to bacilli. So first, gram-positive bacilli. In the list, we have actinomyces, bacillus, colostridium, corinibacterium, and listeria. Okay? So the mnemonics, the mnemonics to uh, know, you know, these bacteria are gram-positive bacilli is... This cute lady, like in the picture here, cute lady named ABC is positive. Okay, A that stands for actinomyces, B for bacillus, C for colostridium, and corinibacterium is positive. And L, you know, this L capital L for listeria. Okay, capital C for one colostridium or corinibacterium, any one of those. And capital L for Listeria and AVC for Actinomyces, Bacillus, and Colostridium or Corinibacterium. Okay, so cute lady is positive. So, how will you know that this list of bacteria is bacilli? Because in this list we have Bacillus, okay, Actinomyces, Bacillus, Colostridium, Corinibacterium, and Listeria. That's why this list refers to bacilli. Okay, so the mnemonics for gram positive bacilli is cute lady named avc is positive yes so cute c standing for 
Clostridium or Corinivectrum, any one of those. L for Listeria, A for Actinomyces, B for Bacillus, and C for Clostridium or Corinivectrum. Positive for Gram positive bacilli. Why bacilli? Because in this list we have bacillus. Okay, so cute cute lady named AVC is positive. Okay, so now we are done with gram positive bacilli. Let's move on to the list of gram negative bacilli. Okay, so in in this list here, all the bacteria, all the gram negative gram negative bacilli in this list, there. The name of all of these actually ends with ELLA. So you have a look at the name of the bacteria, and if that ends with ELLA, okay, Salmonella, ELLA, Shigella, ELLA, Legionella, ELLA, Klebsiella, ELLA, Bogicella, ELLA, Brucella, ELLA, Francisella, ELLA, and Pasteurella, E L L A. Okay, so all these names they ends with, they end with you know, E L L A. So that, so you you have to remember that this E L L A, all the name of the bacteria ending with E L L A, that comes in the category of gram negative bacilli. Okay, so the bacteria whose names end with E L L A, they come in the category of gram negative bacilli. Okay, this is one. And the another list is here. We have, these are also gram-negative bacteria, E. coli, Vibrio cholera, Campylobacter, Helicobacter, Pseudomonas, Bacteroides, Haemophilus, and Yersinia, okay? So, this list is very easy to remember. These are gram-negative bacilli, and they are very easy to remember because all of their names, they end with E-L-L-A. But how to remember the name of this list? So, for this, I have a mnemonics that I will explain explain here okay so the mnemonic mnemonics is a guy there is a guy who took a plane or helicopter who took a helicopter to the camp okay the so guy took a helicopter to go to the camp and in the camp he drank contaminated water okay in the drank he, he drank contaminated water and had Traveler's diarrhea, okay? So guy took a helicopter to the camp, in the camp, he drank contaminated water and he got infected with traveler's diarrhea and then he had to run to the hospital. He ran to the hospital, but on the way he got in injured and in the, some bl blood, you know, came out from the injury, from the point of injury, okay? So on the way he got injured with the blood and whatever all this happened to that guy, all the negative things happened to the guy. Pseudo, that refers to false or negative. So, this is the mnemonics. So, th this, is the, this is the story, you know, that you should try to memorize or remember. Is that there is a guy who took a helicopter to the camp and in the camp he, he drank contaminated water and he had traveler's diarrhea. And because he had this diarrhea, then he had to go to the hospital and he, he ran and he injured himself because he ran, he slipped and he injured himself. Blood came out from the point of injury and whatever this happened to the guy, that was all false or negative event, right? This is a negative event, it's negative or false, that is zero. So I'll explain the list here. So a guy, if you look at this cap, why? That refers to Yersinia. He took a heli helicopter, referring to helicobacter. Helicopter, helicobacter. Camp is campylobacter, okay? So camp is campylobacter. He drank contaminated water and traveler's diarrhea. So most common cause of this traveler's diarrhea or the traveler's diarrhea are E. coli and Vibrio cholera, okay? So these are the two bacteria that are the most common cause. This one you should know, okay? So E. coli and Vibrio cholera, they are the most common cause of this uh, traveler's diarrhea and he had to run to the hospital and on the way he injured himself so he, the blood came out blood you know the, the word blood him ref, him you know in the in the, in, the, in the terminology for example hematology is the study of blood so him him that refers to blood so blood corresponding to him and now we're left with pseudomonas pseudo means false or negative 
So, yes, so it's a negative. So it's a gram negative bacilli, okay, pseudomonas, gram negative bacilli. And another way you can remember the pseudomonas is that the most common cause of hospital acquired infection, one of the most common cause of hospital acquired infection is pseudomonas, okay? So the mnemonic says a guy took a helicopter to the camp, drank contaminated water, had traversed diarrhea, ran to the hospital, injured on the on the way with with the blood, and whatever happened to this guy, this all event was a negative for that guy. So false or pseudo, okay? Guy Y referring to Yersinia, helicopter referring to Helicobacter, camp referring to Campylobacter. Traveler's diarrhea, most common cause, where are E. coli and Vibrio cholera. This you should know. He ran and so he slipped and he injured himself and the blood came out. So blood is him, you know, another word for blood that corresponds to him. So hemophilus, pseudo, whatever happened to this guy, this is all negative event. So this is false negative. So pseudomonas and all, another a way to remember this is pseudomonas is one of the most common cause of hospital uh, acquired infection. I hope this video was helpful. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.